Okay, hi there, this is Kim Willis. I've got a topic for you. I haven't done a Facebook Live for, oh gee, be two years. So uh, be gentle on me, be gentle on me. Uh, I really like this topic. In fact, I developed a little product around the, uh, around the title and it's called How to Make Your First Sale in 30 Days. In your first 30 days, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, as I say, it's a, it's a really good, I think it's a good topic. I can only give, uh, I can only do a small amount of justice to it, probably um, uh, five minutes, something like that. But I'll give you some, some good key pointers on, on how I did it and how you might be able to do the same thing as well. Because I have every uh, affiliate program I've joined, I've made sales in my first 30 days, sometimes in my first three days. Okay, so it is possible, no doubt about it, and I'll share that with you very shortly. Before I do that, uh, just a little about me. The last few years, I've been a digital nomad. You heard that term? It's kind of a new fan dangled term, digital nomad. Yeah, I decided after uh, I lost my wife and my mum, I just, and then my sons told me that they were going to be travelling to Asia and and you know uh, recuperating, if you like. And I thought, well, I'm not going to be left behind in Australia. I, I want to come with you guys. So that's basically what I did in 2013. And uh, I've been a digital nomad ever since. Right now I'm in Cambodia. Soon I'm moving to uh, Vietnam because my elder son is there. So, uh, yeah, it's been an incredible experience. I've never done anything like this in my entire life. But the beautiful thing about uh, generating your income online is that you have a lot more choices. So you can do things like that. You can do wild and wacky things. You can do some crazy things that you probably wouldn't have even dreamt of doing uh, previously. Now let's see who we've got here so far. My first Facebook Live in two years. Gina, hi Gina. Leo, great Leo. Guy, hi Guy. Anna, great to see you. Uh, yeah, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. We'll come back to that. We'll check in very shortly. So let's uh, let me just get started with the topic: how to make your first sale in 30 days. Now, before I, I show you how I'm doing it now, or share with you how I'm doing it now, I'll I'll give you the full. I'll give you the history just in very brief terms. I started online marketing in 2006. So what's that? 12 12 years. In fact. It's 12 years this month. I guess I should have um, a celebration. <laughs> 12 years this month. And uh, I started about the 2nd of October, 2006. So uh, I've definitely passed the anniversary by a couple of days. And uh, I was looking to make, uh, obviously make an income online. Uh, I, I needed to create a full-time income as quickly as I could. So I made the deliberate decision to choose high ticket marketing. So um, I didn't have my own product or service, so I became an affiliate for a company and, and I got started with them. Uh, and after a few uh, trials and tribulations, got some leads happening within a few days, generating leads from mainly from paid advertising at that point. And, um, and then almost 30 days later, I made my first sale. In the, la the, la in the dying uh, days of that first month, I made my first sale. And um, in fact, I made a few. And the minimum commission was $1,000, remember it very well. And um, a few of the people bought the higher package, so there was an extra $4,500 there. So the bottom line, the bottom line was that I ended up uh, with, uh, in, in Aussie dollars, Australian dollars, $9,200, I remember it very clearly, which equates to about 6500 US dollars. The, uh, the Aussie dollar was quite weak at that, uh, at that point. But look, I didn't. I wasn't complaining. I thought it was fantastic. Six and a half thousand US dollars, nine thousand two hundred Aussie dollars, um, all of it earned in the last few days of that first month. Excellent. How did I do it? I generated leads. I phoned them. It was so. It was kind of. Uh, I was generating leads online, but I was converting them using more traditional methods. So um, that opt into a form, they would leave their phone number, and then I would phone them. Okay, and the first the, the first few calls that I made, um, I wasn't very good. I was hopeless. Uh, in fact, I had a bit of a fear of the phone. I did. So it took me it took me at least a week before I started to become comfortable with it, and um, yeah, started to converse in in a more <laughs> professional way with uh, with these uh, with these leads. And from that work that happened in the particularly in the second week. 
and the third week came some hot leads and a few of them bought and that's how I ended up making that money by, by the end of the first month. Second month was even better. Well, I almost doubled it. It was about uh, $17,000 and the third month was, was uh, better again, another significant increase. So that got me started and that was enough to get me out of the rat race in uh, like before Christmas 2006 and I've been out of it ever since. So no complaints. Now things have changed moving forward, of course, uh, to you know, 2018, things are a bit different. I don't do it that way anymore. I don't run ads on Google, for, for instance. In fact, today, I don't run any ads. I don't run any ads. I use organic tri-builder methods. And most of my leads now come from Facebook and I don't pay a cent for them, okay? Uh, I also get leads from Twitter, I get leads from my blog, uh, I've got these different uh, web-based properties that generate leads. Now my blog and my YouTube channel, I don't get many leads from there, but, but I get some good ones. I get some quality leads. Uh, so yeah, so amazing turnaround. I was using paid advertising way back when in 2006 and then you know, just trial and error came to the point where I realized that the name of the game is to build a brand, to develop a following, a warm market if you like, and that's what I've been doing ever since. I've just been continually building my warm market because that's where the easiest sales are to be found. That's where you've got the trust happening, the trust is working for you. No like and trust, you've probably heard that, no like and trust. So the way I look at it, I'm a pretty simple guy. The more people that know me or at least feel that they know me, they may only know me in the virtual sense, but they feel that they know me, uh, the more people who like me or at least respect me, um, it's not absolutely critical that I have a lot of people who like me, but I do want people to respect me. And the third one is trust. I want them to trust me. I want them to think that, um, you know, I'm a good guy, I'm authentic, uh, I do the right thing, um, I'm not into BS and all of that. So that's part of my brand. Uh, that's part of my brand. So today, I generate the leads online. Now, I switched from, uh, I went through, so I went through three stages, pure paid, paid mark, paid advertising. Then I, I, I started to develop some, um, my blog and YouTube channel and so on. So that became more of uh, a, a bit more free marketing, and, but I was still running the ads, okay? So there was a kind of this middle, this middle phase. And I was still phoning leads. I was phoning leads, you know, day after day after day. And in fact, since 2006, I have called over 10,000 leads. Can you believe that? Now, I don't call leads today, or I, if I do, they're highly qualified. Whereas back then, I was calling anyone that filled out the form with their phone number, <laughs> I'd call them, right? And it didn't matter where they were. I didn't care what country they were in, as long as the time zone wasn't completely out of whack with mine, I'd call them. So I was in Australia, so I'd, I'd call them, obviously Australian leads were, were my favorites, but I called people in the US, in Canada, the UK, um, you know, parts of uh, Europe, if they could speak English, <laughs> whatever, I, I'd phone the leads. I was a maniac for phoning leads. But I became more sophisticated about it over the years and I decided to introduce a survey system and people, I'd only phone the best people who filled out the survey, okay? So I, did, I started to do things like that. And as I said, incorporating around 2009, 2010, 2011, started incorporating other ways to generate leads other than paid methods. So it was blogging, it was YouTubing and, and, and SEO bits and different strategies like that. Not much in the way of social media, that's only that's become more of a recent thing for me where I've become really good at it. But I started to blend some of these free strategies with the, with the paid strategies. And then in uh, 2015, I made the decision to leave the world of paid marketing behind, largely leave it behind forever. And so since 2015, the vast majority of my leads have come from free sources, organic sources, and I no longer uh, just phone lead after lead after lead. I prefer it, they come to me, uh, they vet, I have them vetted, qualified, etc. 
and sure, then then I'll have a talk with them. But now it's more like um, you know I have three or four phone conversations or Skype conversations a week. That's about it. Um, I'm not doing the thirty and forty a day, right? So a big change for me now. If I was starting out right from scratch or starting today, I'd do things differently to the way I did it, did it back in 2006. Hang on, just let me see if there's any questions here. Up, 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 up. Hi, Kyle. Kyle, oh, I haven't spoken to you for a while. Uh, Michael, Tim, who else? Kevin and Sanjeev Kumar. Okay, hi there. Um, yeah, so today, if I was starting out, I would do things uh, quite differently, and I would probably start with Facebook. In fact, I would start with Facebook. Um, I started embracing the Facebook thing in a in a major way in 2016. So it was just just two years ago, 2016, and I started from scratch. I was using what I call tri builder methods. I didn't open a Facebook group. I was simply using my personal profile and no, I was not spamming my personal profile. No, I wasn't pitching on my personal profile. I just offered value, ideas, tips, um, occasional opinion, things like that. And that's, you know, started to build the no like and trust factor. And then I blended that uh, strategy with the Facebook messenger strategy, Facebook messenger strategy. So I started just reaching out to a few people on, on Facebook Messenger. Uh, once again, no pitching, no links, nothing. It was just, how are you doing? Um, getting into a conversation, finding out what, I was looking for marketers, okay? I was targeting other marketers and I was looking for marketers who maybe were struggling. And I know just from the stats that most marketers are struggling despite the bluster. Most of them are struggling. They haven't sold millions like me. They've, some of them haven't even sold their first $1,000 worth of product. So 95% um, of marketers are not making money or if they have made money, it's been kind of minuscule, okay? So if you're, if, so there's a good tip for you. If you're t targeting marketers, just know what the facts are. The facts are that hardly any of them are making good money consistently, hardly any, all right? So um, forget what they say to you if they try and spam you or something like that, you know the chances are they're broke, okay? There's a high likelihood that they're broke. Okay, so if you've got some kind of a product that will help them on that side of things, well, uh, maybe, maybe they'll be interested. So I didn't spam people, I just asked them, you know, what they're doing, uh, what, they, you know, what they struggle with, how's it going and all that sort of stuff. And lo and behold, within a few days of just sort of tinkering with this method, um, I started to get some people leaning forward. Uh, people started to like what I was saying and they became leads for me. And once you've got some warm leads, it doesn't take long before they're ready to buy. So in that first month, that first month, 2016, of using these kind of uh, warm market, soft sell, try builder type strategies, um, I got the first sales. And only little sales, I can't remember what they were, it might have been a $30 commission or something, a little info product, a little course I was selling or something like that. But I got my first sales. Uh, I only made a, made a few hundred dollars in that first month in 2016, that first month. So that was May 2016, okay, May. And then a few months later, I opened a Facebook group and um, same thing, started developing a tribe within that Facebook group and in the, within the first month, I had some sales, I made some sales. So that's basically, basically it. I've just thought, well, I'd share this little idea with you that if you combine your personal profile uh, with giving good value there, no pitching, uh, mix it up, not just business stuff, and keep, it, keep it social as well, and then use the, the tool that you've got, which to me is probably one of the greatest conversion tools that there is, uh, is online, and that's Facebook Messenger. Use it effectively. Um, chances are you'll start to make some sales and you should make sales within your first month. And look, even if it's only one sale, hey, that's a yay. That's a, that's a, that's a cause for celebration, one sale. For most marketers, that's probably the first sale that they've ever made, right? But if you can make one, then you can duplicate it, can't you? You can do it over and over and over again. Wash and repeat, 
wash and repeat, wash and rinse, rinse and wash, whatever it is. Um, you can just do it over and over and over again. But you've got to get that first one, haven't you? You've got to get that first one. So I guess the message for you is this, that if you've been using spammy, get rich quick types of uh, strategies, if, uh, forget it, leave it alone. If you've been buying solo ads and other forms of junk traffic, forget about it. You're wasting your money in all probability. Um, if you've been uh, laboring with uh, Facebook ads, for instance, and you're a newbie and you're struggling with it, why don't you just leave it alone? Leave it alone for the next six months, right? You don't know enough about your market to become good at Facebook ads. Facebook ads is, is, is a very sophisticated kind of a platform and uh, for a newbie marketer, a novice, I wouldn't do it. Not in a pink fit. I wouldn't go near it. Go near it and do it in six months' time when you understand your market. And the best way to understand your market is to start talking with your market one-on-one -on -one using Messenger and, of course, uh, you know, on your personal profile. You start a Facebook group, great, that's even better. So that's basically it. Use your, use your Facebook Messenger. Uh, find out what people are needing. Find out what they want. Uh, find out what their pain point is, what keeps them awake at night, what do they struggle with, and you can do it in a way that doesn't sound like it's an interrogation. Okay, you can, there's a soft way of doing it. It's, it's kind of, your, I, when I do it, I'm genuinely interested in people. I'm curious about people. I'm a very curious person. I'm, I'm interested in what makes them tick and, you know, what's happening in their business, what's working, what's not working. And usually, uh, if you've got the right person, sooner or later, they're just going to reveal some little pain point to you and then uh, one thing can lead to another. All right. So and it doesn't matter whether you're promoting information products, training products, which is what I do, or you're promoting, you know, health products, fitness products, whatever. You can use the same kind of approach. All right. So that's basically what I would do. If I started out today, I'd use Facebook. Uh, I wouldn't bother with a Facebook page. I'd just use my personal profile. I'd use Facebook Messenger. And then uh, when I got a little bit comfortable with that, I'd start a Facebook group. That's it. That's what I'd do. All right. Any questions, folks? Hello. Lenek. Lenek. Is that the right pronunciation? Olga. Hi, Olga. Lemmy. Olga. Oh, I got you, Olga. Shelly. Good to see you. Kevin. Yeah. All right. Any questions? Does that make sense? Yeah? Makes sense? Okay, well, that's, that's basically it. I'll do another Facebook Live. I don't know whether I'll be able to get to one this week because I'm incredibly busy at the moment, but I'll try and do one on, on Friday, uh, but otherwise I'll do a few more next week. I'll probably do three next week, okay? So look out for them, and I'm going to just feature a topic that, that I think marketers will like, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to focus on kind of a tips series, and hang on, it's my phone, turn it off. Um, I'll focus on a, it'll be a tip series, so it'll, it'll be helpful information. I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Now, uh, I've got an offer for you, very simple offer. It's my Facebook group, my free Facebook group. I, I have a paid Facebook group, uh, obviously, but uh, it's a free paid Facebook group. Right now we're running a challenge. It's a fantastic challenge. A bit too late for you to join the challenge, uh, but we will be running other challenges in the future. But you can join the group. It's called Tribe Builder Community. I noticed some of the names, some of the people that, have, uh, that are on this call, they're already in the group. That's great. Um, but it's called the Tri Builder Community. So if you're not a member, just uh, type it in and reach out and make, uh, make a request to join. And then uh, we'll have a look at it. And in all probability, we'll approve you. As long as you don't have a spammy kind of a, a presence on Facebook, we don't, want to, we don't want people like that in our group. But, but uh, try to build a community so you can join that group and get a few uh, free tips and ideas. We do run uh, challenges. We, uh, as I say, we've got one running this week. It's a five-day challenge. And uh, it's called How to Make Money from a Facebook Group. That's a pretty good topic, isn't it? But you can join the group, try build a community, and uh, we'll, um, we'll look after you there. All right. I think we might call it quits for now. I'm not sure how long it took uh, this one, maybe eight minutes or something like that. I want to keep them under the 10 minutes. So... Uh, that I think we pretty well accomplished that uh, objective today. All right, folks. I'll see you in the group. Try build a community. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.